there guys, welcome back to my channel and this is your Teacher Da, Teacher Da Real Del Mundo. Do not forget to like, share to your classmates, and subscribe, and do not forget to hit the notification bell so that you are updated to my next EduSci vlog. And since we are in the first grading period, our topic is all about chemistry, one of the branches of science, okay? But first, let us have a short introduction about this subject. Are you ready to listen? Okay, you must be ready to listen. And now, we will start. Okay, so this is the first part of our topic, which is all about chemistry. Chemistry, which is the subject or the study of matter. So in this world, there are two kinds of things when it comes to science and technology. If it is not matter, it's energy. If it is not energy, it's matter. Okay? So, chemistry is all about matter. Okay? We are going to tackle about the classification of matter here, the matter flowchart, about pure substances, about mixture, and many more that you always do it or that it is always included in your everyday life that you didn't know, oh, it's chemistry. Oh, it's matter. So chemistry is not just about love story. If this guy is fell in love or fall in love with this girl, they have the chemistry, something like that. It's beyond that, okay? It's more scientific. And before, chemistry known as alchemy, but alchemy was the false chemistry, okay? You got it right. Now, we can say that matter is anything occupying space and having mass. Matter exists in three states. It has solid, liquid, and gas. That was before. So I know that you are familiar with solid, liquid, and gas, right? So that was before, way back when I was in elementary or high school, something like that. But now, there are almost six states of matter, okay? There are six states of matter. Later on, we will tackle about it. Okay, there are three states of water this time. So we have the solid ice, and then we have the liquid, which is the water, and then we have the gas water, or what we call steam. Okay, so as you can see, it differs from one structures to another. As you can see, there are molecules, uh, like in the solid, or the ice, or the solid water, their molecules are kindly, you know, they are in intact, and they are tightly packed together, right? And then, while on the liquid water, or in the water state or in the liquid state of water the molecules are a little bit of uh, loosely packed there are spaces between them and then uh, the last part is the gas state of water which has a very big space in between the different molecules okay so that's how do they differ from one to another although there are three states of water it can be a solid it can be a liquid in the room temperature and it can be a gas okay now these are the six states of matter we have solid liquid gas plasma bose einstein condensate and fermionic condensate so as you can see in the picture you have the the different states of matter from solid to liquid to gases and plasmas okay you will know about some of it later on. Okay, are you ready? Okay, let's go on. Phases of matter. Okay, before we differentiate from one to another, you should know the different phases of matter. So when we are talking about phases of matter, these are the formation or the forms. Or how do this matter change forms from one to another? Okay, as you can see in the picture, we have there from solid to gas, gas to liquid, liquid to solid or gas gas to solid or so solid to liquid or liquid to gas something like that so how do they uh, change forms okay so we have the first one which is sublimation everybody say sublimation very good it is the process or one of the phases of matter which is from solid to gas okay so like the naphthalene ball, the white balls that your mother or your grandma or your father always put inside your closet. Okay, it is solid, right? But as time goes by, it disappears. It, it is not magic. It's sublimate. 
Okay, it's sublimate because the solid turns into gas. Okay, we have the next one we have deposition, which okay. is from gas to solid. Am I clear? That is, uh, I think, the formation of what do you call this? Dry ice. Are you familiar with dry ice? Yeah, yeah, the dry ice. So that is the process, deposition. When you are going to freeze or uh, you wanted to solidify the carbon dioxide. So the carbon dioxide will solidify and it will make what we call as dry ice. Then we have freezing. So we all know that freezing is from liquid to solid. And we have melting which is from solid to liquid. And then we have evaporation which is from liquid to gas. And then we have condensation which is from gas to liquid. So those are the different phases of matter so that you know that matter can change depends on the temperature. See? Okay. Next. States of matter. The following are the common states of matter and their differences. Solid, liquid, gas, plasma, Bose-Einstein condensate, and fermionic condensate. A solid. A solid has rigid, has fixed volume, shape, and these are the examples. We have ice cube, diamond, iron bar. So anything that you can touch has definite shape, has definite volume, has definite mass, that's solid. Okay? Then we have liquid. Liquid has definite volume but no specific shape because it follows the shape of the, its container. Okay? It assumes the shape of the container. Example like gasoline. So when you have your tank of gasoline inside your house, okay? The LPG, the liquefied petroleum gas. Okay, when you have it like that inside your house, it follows the shape of the container, of the tank. Okay, so if you have like water inside your glass or in, in a glass, something like that, it follows the shape of the container. If the glass is a shape of a heart or a circle or a rectangle, that is the shape of the liquid. Examples, we have also water, alcohol, and blood. Okay, next we have gas. So this is the example of liquid. So we have gas. Has no fixed volume or shape. Takes the shape and volume of its container. So it depends upon the container and the shape of the container again. Okay? So meaning to say that gas has needs to follow the shape of the container also like liquid. Examples are air, helium gas, natural gas, and oxygen. Okay? Then we have plasma. Plasma are, or plasmas are hot ionized gas. Okay? Made up of electrically charged particles. So these plasmas are gases. Okay? They are gases. Hot ionized usually, that is an example of it, lightning. Okay? As you can see a while ago, stars. Mostly, they can be found in the outer space. And then, we have Bose-Einstein condensate. Bose-Einstein condensate is the coldest matter example. is the uh, superfluid. Uh, meaning to say, the superfluid, it, it, it flows upward. Okay? And then, we have fermionic condensate. Which Closest is to Bose-Einstein. So called as superfluids also. But this time, it's... It is called fermionic because they are made up of fermions. While... Bose-Einstein is made up of bosons which are grouped and implant. There you go. And then, we can ask this question, what is chemistry? Okay? And based on what we have tackled a while ago, you have a little bit of background about chemistry. So chemistry is the study of matter, a scientific discipline involved with compounds composed of atoms and molecules so we all know that everything in this world is made up of atoms which is the very basic unit of everything okay and group of atoms can make up molecules and uh, it is also the study of composition structure properties and changes of matter so these are the properties and changes 
we have composition. So all you have to do is to remember these terms because this is very important when it comes to chemistry. Number one, we have composition. Composition is what made what is composed of what, something like this. For example, H2O, it is composed of hydrogen, two hydrogen, and an oxygen. See? And then structure, what does it look like? Okay, or what does it look like? Something like, is it look like a rectangle, a triangle, something like that? And properties, properties, a special quality or characteristics. And then we have changes to become something else, meaning there's a... Uh, transformation happen and then we have physical and chemical when we are talking about physical the outward appearance of something while chemical is the inward composition of a substance do not forget that we so we have composition structure properties changes physical and chemical remember those terms so so we have composition and structure Below is the example of the composition and structure of water. So as you can see, it looks like uh, what they call this a uh, triangle, right? So it has one oxygen and then two hydrogen at the bottom of it. So the structure is look like a triangular shape, something like that, or angular molecule. Water is a bend or angular molecule. While the composition, uh, we all know that water is composed of two hydrogens and one oxygen. So that's it. We have physical versus chemical properties of matter. This is how it differs. So properties of matter. When we are talking about properties again, it's all about characteristics and the quality. So properties of matter are mass, weight, volume, density, buoyant force, and displacement method. So mass is the amount of matter of an object while weight is there represents the pull of the body okay and then we have volume how much the space an object occupies so alam natin lahat ng matter it occupies space so even i myself i am sitting down and i am occupying space even you in your houses you're listening and you're watching it means you are occupying that space therefore you yourself is considered as a matter because you have mass you have weight you have volume and you have density density is mass per unit or a gram divided by centimeter cube which is mass divided by volume okay and then we have buoyant force and then displacement method buoyant force is the outward force of the water so when you are like swimming something like that you can float because of the buoyant force Okay, and we have physical properties of matter. So in the physical properties of matter, we will describe the physical characteristics of a substance such as, example, color, odor, volume, state or such as solid, liquid, and gas, density, melting point, and boiling point. What you see in your naked eye. Okay, example, what is the color of the coin? like kind of golden or bronze right okay it's hard it's smooth so those are the characteristics or the physical properties of that coin so on and so forth everything that you saw or feel or you can in use your you know your five senses then the chemical properties are characterize the tendency of a substance to transform into different substance Okay, a while ago in the physical properties, the physical senses that you always use is your eyes and your touch. Okay, but in the chemical properties, since a lot of chemical uh, things that happen to them, you can identify them based on their evidences. Okay, what are those examples of properties? Thermability, steel will rust and food will digest. Okay, so uh, when you see changes that uh, happens in your food, in your steel, in your wood, there's a chemical property, okay? Or it is what we call chemical property. Next, we have physical versus chemical change of matter. When we are talking about physical change, 
Uh, this is a change in some property of a substance. Change only physically or outwardly without changing its composition. Example, boiling point of water or boiling water, freezing water, tearing, crumpling, and cutting of papers. Whatever you do to the paper, you crumpled it, you cut it, or you tear it apart. It doesn't matter what happens. It's still paper, right? Okay, it just changed its form. The physical changes, okay? But not the composition. It remains the same, okay? Next, we have chemical change. So in the chemical change, atoms we arrange during the chemical change. Switching connections or switching partners which as the previous connections are broken into new ones will form or are formed. So evidences are number one, when you smell a rotting food, something like that, or a rotting food, okay, that's one of the evidence. And when you uh, saw the wood turns into charcoal, or your paper when you burn it and turn into black substance, something like that, or into ashes, that's chemical change. So example, Bunsen burner, methane reacts with oxygen to form carbon dioxide and water, then burning wood, which is charcoal. Okay, yung uling na tinatawag natin. Okay, so how to classify matter? This is very important.